Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, and a pleasant special thanks to those of you that have subscribed this far. Please continue to subscribe down below at the easy to use sub button to keep us going and growing. But the Ontario Rain, right behind the Stockton Heat in the Pacific Division in the AHL, been mighty impressive this year at 13 and 4, and that's due in no small part to the fact that Martin Furk, um, <clears throat> Hasn't seen the success he's seen this year ever in his career. He's been a good player, especially an AHL player, goal scorer in his career. But he's doing it both ways, goals and assists this year. And obviously has never been a great defensive player. But that's why if he can get the offensive prowess to this level, then he definitely would have a chance to maybe make it again as a third-line scoring punch guy in the NHL if you put him with enough, obviously, um, if you put him with enough defensive guys around him. He kind of reminds you of a right-handed shot, Ryan Donato, where he plays a smart game offensively. He just doesn't have a good defensive game and enough to consistently carry his weight in the lineup per se, but he's having a good season in Seattle this year. Donato is uh, where, um, well, he's having a solid season, where Martin Furk is having a killer season uh, with the Ontario Reign, where he said playing with Really good players makes the job easy for me. That's where Ferk said. And when you're winning and everyone's picking up points, which is nice, you feel good about yourself. I'm just happy it's going in and I can help the team win more games. Obviously, when you bring in an AHL MVP and TJ Tynan, uh, who's been with Colorado's organization, um, that's going to help you mightily as well. But uh, Ferk is coming off of winning the player of the month in November. Um, where he posted 14 points on five goals and nine assists in only eight games, going absolutely ballistic. Uh, he also scored the other day, where now on the season he has 11 goals and 13 assists, so actually more assists than goals, which is not common for Martin Furr, and 24 points and 18 penalty minutes. Because if you look for the rest of his career, every single season of his career, he's had more goals than assists, 27 to 17 uh, 27 to 23 in the one season. That's the closest. Um, 23 to 13. Uh, the first year with the rain, and then six and six in the shortened season, and then you have 11 to 13 this year in his breakout season. He already has 24 points through 18 games, where the most he's had thus far in the AHL is 50. So obviously, if he keeps going at this rate, he's going to get his career high in points. Morning Furk has a killer shot, a great wrist shot. His only issue was he was all offense. That's why I kind of compared him to the righty Ryan Donato. He was all offense and a good skater. But what could he do to kind of, can he keep the pace to be enough of a third line offensive player that you don't have to worry as much about his defensive roads where Donato hasn't done that consistently enough in his career. He's finding it a bit in Seattle. Furk is finding it mightily um, with the Ontario Reign. Had a great first season there with the Reign. Uh, uh, solid uh, in 18 games a uh, season in that uh, wipe away a uh, shorten season last year and then this year is having a breakout season that could see him having a chance obviously the Kings are deep at forward so it's going to be tough for him but could see him with the way he's playing having a chance of maybe getting a look with those LA Kings enough that they want to add more speed and uh, just more which they don't necessarily need they obviously have that already but if they want to add more of a shooting punch uh, to that lineup as well. But I hope you all enjoyed this quick video on Martin Furk that has won the Player of the Month in November, deservingly so, and has 24 points uh, with 13 assists and 11 goals in his breakout season for the Ontario Reign. It'll be interesting to see if he does get a chance uh, with the LA Kings because, like I said, they do have very good forward depth obviously with that team with young guys and veterans like Justin or Justin Brown, Dustin Brown and Anze Kopitar. So again, everybody have a great, safe and pleasant day. Stay safe out there and enjoy the rest of the hockey season.